And we've got Rivalry against Midnight Madness for the Sugar Plums and the Candy Canes, respectively. That is Rival E is going to head to the box. There are no minors. Rival E will be sitting in the box for a potential minute. That is Midnight Madness breaking on through. She did not pick up the lead jammer position and Rival E having gone to the box forfeits the ability to have a lead jammer position. That means this jam will go for two minutes. Oh no, it looks like there was a lead jammer called on Midnight Madness. She does have the ability, I didn't see it to begin with, so she does have the ability to call off the jam. She picks up five points, the most points you can pick up on a jam. She picks up a point for Rival E, who is sitting in the box. For the jammer, they pick up a, an additional point for each opposing skater that sits in the box after they pass the first opposing skater's hips. That is Midnight Madness picking up Yes, another five points for the Candy Canes. Midnight Madness, the lead jammer. And the Sugar Plums trying to rejigger their front four wall defense. Rival E back in. Looking to make it past her first pass, I believe. Rival E makes it look easy right up through the middle. That is her initial pass. She's not on a scoring pass yet. Midnight Madness looking to pick up some more points. Midnight Madness looking to get around Rose Tinted Smashes. And Delapinator in the front last line of defense. Takes it down right after turn one. That is Rival E now on a scoring pass. Trying to scoot a little bit on the inside. She's gotta be careful about that cut track. She doesn't pick it up. Good skating work there, picking up Three 